And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our industry keynote on building petabytes of storage, secure, scalable, and economical. We have the privilege of having with us today Vivek Upman, Enterprise Lead, South Asia at Seagate Technologies, as our keynote speaker. Vivek Upman is a recognized expert in the field of storage technologies and has extensive experience in helping organizations build robust and scalable storage solutions. In this keynote session, he will delve into the latest advancements in storage technologies, industry best practices, and the strategies organizations can adopt to build petabytes of storage infrastructure and meet their security, scalability, and economic requirements. So let's give a warm welcome to our keynote speaker, Vivek Upman, as he takes the stage. Thank you. Oh, very good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for the nice presentation and uh, the warm welcome. So it's not usual that, you know, Seagate is usually there at this forum because we usually work at the OEM That's level. Nice. And uh, it's just the change in the, the way the world uh, looks up at storage solutions across the segments and the kind of infrastructure growth that we see, driven by AI and ML that we hear it every day, that we are now bringing the solutions that we usually give to the OEMs uh, for the last 40 years directly to the enterprises and uh, to end users. So DQ is celebrating 40 years. Uh, it's worthwhile to note that a few years back, Seagate also celebrated 40 years in manufacturing of uh, storage technologies, particularly hard drives. So these are something that you know very well. Uh, so I won't dwell into that. I'll try to reveal that what you know, Seagate has been doing for uh, our last 40 years, which will be beneficial in terms of what uh, you know, typically you know, appeals to enterprises managing the current uh, data sphere or any challenges that are there. So what we do typically, we actually manage the entire data sphere whether it is a client, consumer, or a hyperscale data center. That is our DNA, and that is our typical introduction. Now, I want to quickly talk about this, because this will help you understand the session more into uh, more than just a high overview. This is the strength of the enterprises that is going to be in the next uh, you know, 10, 15 years, the amount of zettabytes of storage that is going to be built up globally, whether it is a client, consumer, enter enterprises. So this is a research done by Seagate, as well as IDC. And uh, out of this, 60% of the data will be done or generated by the enterprises. So there's a lot of scope for everyone in the room to really think how are we going to mitigate the challenges of managing this pleiotra of storage. Because there's so much of storage, but we really do not know how much of it is actually stored, a very minuscule of it. That means we are not able to have the right algorithms. We just have huge amount of data. So that is where Seagate is really good at in terms of managing the real problems that the enterprises have at the core level. You may have AI, ML, you may have chat GPT. Eventually, everything needs to be stored, processed, and went into deep archival. So as a CIO or, or as a system admin, you should know how you control the cost. Because as we talk to a lot of people in the industry, no one has a purge policy, whether it is a compliance or regulatory or data processing. You really need to have a really strong storage technology where you can manage the cost for next three, five, seven, ten 10 years. That's a life cycle of the storage, which will really define a really strong output for your company in terms of monetizing the data, at the same time controlling the existing cost. So today we'll talk more about that, how Seagate is actually helping in the core of this. So where are we right now? We are at the IT 4.0. Now many of you are veterans of the industry. You'll know how the industry has moved from a centralized architecture of mainframe to client server to mobile and cloud, which is now. So typically we are in the world of machine to machine or mobile to mobile communications where there is pleiotra of data generated. And everything needs to be stored at some point in time. Now, why we move from mobile cloud to the edge and why edge was needed was because of the bandwidth availability. You need the processing right at the source rather than sending all the sensors data which is generated back to the hyperscaler and the process data comes back. So most of the apps do not work. They need instant processing. That's where the micro modular data centers will rise now. 
that's where the edge has started to rise. So that I am able to take decision with the data that I have immediately. So with 4G, it could travel to long distances, okay, but the speed was slow. With 5G, it goes to targeted small distance, but extremely fast, or the high speed fiber. That's where the edge has risen. So you have the end users or the sensors, you have the hyperscale data centers, and now you have the edge. So whatever the challenges of compliance, of cybersecurity was there at the hyperscale, now the same applies for the edge as well. So there's a lot of opportunities coming up, not just for servers, for you know, compute, but also cybersecurity challenges, similar to what it was for hyperscalers. So let's look at what is driving the change. I mean, in, in this room, there, there are a lot of individuals who are working with huge amounts of data. This is a global scenario where you have the amount of key data generators, which, we, which pushes the envelope to more than uh, uh, you know, uh, 221 zettabytes. You have human genom genomics, you have smart city. Now, this is quite relevant to South Asia and particularly to India, where we are really focusing on smart city development for surveillance, for compliance, for immediate action, for whether it is a criminal activity or some kind of a regulatory mechanism. Now, these are things here to stay. So when you have so much of data generated, you again need the kind of activities that can align your financial abilities to control your cost. Now, there are very few technologies that can allow you that. Okay, I have a certain solution right now. Can I manage my cost for the next five years? Very few can say that. Every year, with the power cost or the AMC cost or the actual solution cost keeps increasing. So in this data economy, we need to be really sure about how we plan our life cycle of storage. One, the company that does that will eventually be able to monetize the data in the most correct framework. If you're able to monetize and control the cost, that is where the successful companies will define themselves five years, 10 years down the line. So these are the two key questions that, you know, I want to store more data, and how do I value storing more data? Now, Seagate is really at the forefront to be present to solve all these kind of solutions. Now, uh, how we do that is the core of the technology. Now, everything starts at the hard drive. So you may think, okay, it is a technology that has been for so many years, but eventually that is the ultimate solution. When you have huge amount of data, eventually it gets stored at the hard drive. Whether you make a NAS or a SAN or a software-defined storage, everything comes down to a hard drive and its ability to store more and more data. This is a cross-section view of a hard drive and what we have been doing that over the last 40 years, which I just mentioned, that we are trying to pack more capacity in the same 3.5 form factor drive and increasing its performance as well. So when you buy something like a 100 TB box, you get more performance than what you're getting now, or in the same 4U enclosure where you are able to pack something like 500 TB, we'll be able to give you a five petabyte solution. So you don't have to keep increasing your data center footprint, you simply buy a higher capacity drive. So this is our growth map. So right now we are at 16 and 20 TB, but with our technology we are advancing to 50 TB hard drive by calendar year 2026. By the end of this calendar year, that is by December, we'll have a 30 TB drive. Now the kind of data economy that we are in, this is very much required. So what I was talking about is how, if I design, any of one of you, if you design a 1000 TB solution with an 8 TB drive, the same can be designed with a 20 TB drive, pulls down the cost by 38% to 40%. So there are a lot of, uh, you know, AMC charges, there is a power cost, there is a maintenance cost, overall the life cycle cost comes down if you use a higher grade drive, plus the more the petabytes, the power cost goes down. What I'm saying is a 3.5 form factor drive of 8 TB will have the same power for a 20 TB drive. So it makes sense for you to design a solution on a higher capacity drive. Now how do we do that is, we have you technology right at the drive level, which we call as multi-actuator technology. Which means is that, if you remember the, uh, the cross-section view is that, all the hard drives come with a single actuator drive, that is read-write. We have innovated with a multi-actuator drive, bringing in parallelism, thus the performance of a single hard drive now is doubled. So a same box of 100 TB doubles up its performance. So that is the kind of innovation that we have done at the performance level, and now how do we reach 50 TB is by using 
industry patented heat assisted magnetic recording technology which allows us to pack more data or aerial density in the same data bit. So a same 3.5 form factor drive which was earlier giving 8 TB now will be giving you 50 TB thus allowing you to save a lot of cost and not increasing your data center footprint. So with these we create a lot of solutions keeping in mind that at the core level what is the solution that you can bring in which can allow you to maintain or increase the performance and at the same time reduce your cost. That is by increasing the capacity and increasing the performance as well. So we have these solutions that, uh, that were already there for last 30 years with all the OEMs. And now, as I said, we are bringing those solutions to the market directly. As I speak, we have already done some two dozen installations in India directly with the customers, which earlier we were not doing. And now the, our uh, approach has completely changed. You name any OEM, they have been taking this solution from us. Whether it is a JBoard expansions or advanced storage arrays, or if you uh, can take some time out, the huge dense storage boxes that we already have. Now, how do we do that is? Introduce. Okay, so I just wanted to spend some time more that we have spoken about that when we create any storage solution, we have solved the so, uh, issue or the challenge of how we increase the performance and how we increase the aerial density. There were a few gentlemen who came in that they have a 100 TB requirement or a 300 TB requirement. Now, you do not know how much it will scale to. So we create those boxes which will allow you to have scalability for next five, 10 years and maintaining that future proof performance, sustainable performance guarantee as well. We do that with ADR and ADAPT with one of our beautiful solution which is typically which is called as Core Vault. And uh, this is a special box which has no competition in the market right now simply because its ability to self heal. The drives do not fail. So Im imagine for next five years 95% of the times the drives do not fail it heals automatically. Apart from that, it gives you complete self-healing infrastructure, a complete rapid uh, or the highest kind of a rate rebuild infrastructure. So you guys are in education industry or in a manufacturing, you have a lot of data that goes through compliance framework. It goes through a lot of regulatory mechanism and you do not know, you don't have a purge policy. These are the solution that will reduce your cost by 20 to 30 percent. So I'll just take your uh, interest for a bit more to understand what is the latest in technology in terms of capacity building, performance enhancement, and full secure encryption. So whenever you think about any kind of an archival solution or a backup solution, this will be the right solution for any kind of the workloads that you have. Introducing Exos Core Vault by Seagate, a high performance, self-healing block storage system that delivers multi-petabyte capacity, five nines availability, maximum data density, and hyperscale efficiencies for both data center and macro edge environments. With efficiencies that rival hyperscale data centers, CoreVault is ideal for petabyte scale digital content development, data backup, public or private cloud infrastructure, and so much more. CoreVault's breakthrough self-healing capability is enabled by Seagate's Autonomous Drive Regeneration Technology, or ADR. Hard drives are continuously monitored by ADR and, when necessary, thoroughly diagnosed and automatically renewed. This reduces human intervention and e-waste by returning drives to reliable service without having to handle and discard them. Under the hood, CoreVault delivers consistent performance with its redundant active-active controllers, powered by Seagate's sixth-generation Veloc CT ASIC, along with Advanced Distributed Autonomic Protection Technology, or ADAPT. ADAPT is built on an erasure coding algorithm that dramatically streamlines overhead, throughput, management, and recovery. Powerful onboard management tools, including one-button setup, simplify deployment and use. All these capabilities are housed in an extreme density 4U enclosure that accommodates 106 drives for a total raw capacity of 1.9 petabytes when using Seagate Exos X18 hard drives. 
Seagate enclosures are designed as only a hard drive manufacturer can, with sophisticated and robust engineering, tight integration, and the highest quality manufacturing and precision tuning to maximize drive performance and longevity by actively conditioning vibration, acoustic interference, operating temperature, and power. And Seagate Secure is built into every system. Genuine, high-quality Seagate hardware is secured from design to supply to retirement. All included hard drives are self-encrypting for maximum security without controller-level overhead. With unsurpassed dependability, security, and performance, it's no wonder Seagate storage systems and drives are at the heart of leading data centers worldwide. And now, CoreVault takes mass capacity storage another leap forward. Exos CoreVault, petabytes of self-healing storage. Yes, um, thank you for being patient. So I was, I'm hoping that I was able to relate uh, Seagate's vision about dense storage and the challenges that we have for the next five, 10 years. And uh, we would love to connect with you guys. Please take time off to visit our uh, booth. We have placed this CoreVault for touch and feel. Uh, thank you so much for your time.